Hello, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. You can see there the US theory has broken through potential support at 17,361. In fact, most global markets got absolutely smashed on Friday towards the end of the session, with many global markets down as much as 3 or 4% uh, following that kind of late in the day sell-off. Uh, it looks to be that 25 period SMA is providing short-term support, um, but we're obviously on the wrong side of the potential um, support level right there. So uh, any break below that, uh, you know, there is a lot further this could still go. Now. There already has been quite a strong sell off. America's not been hit quite as hard as some of the other markets, specifically the UK 100. Um, but certainly these uh, these candlestick formations are looking quite aggressive. Now we had a slight bounce this morning, but uh, it feels kind of transitory right now. So um, be aware that 17,361, if we manage to get a break uh, above that and manage to keep our head above that, then things might kind of reverse around a little bit. But for as long as that resistance remains in play and uh, the US there is unable to break above it, um, this is going to cause a problem from a technical perspective especially when there's a major absence of any economic data due out today or the next couple of days. So moving on to the UK 100, very, very negative uh, last couple of sessions. You know, this must be about a good 6%. Um, we have, again, we've had a bounce, but we're in the middle of two ranges right now. Um, we were closer to, uh, to 60, 73 than we were to the next potential uh, resistance at 64, 15. Um, the bounce this morning, uh, we're up almost about a percent so far on the UK market. It's only up 0.3 percent on the US 30. Um, so we've got a long, long way that we could recover before we hit any significant potential resistance. Um, but this is uh, this is not looking very good again from a technical perspective. Um, there will be people trying to pick up some bargains this morning, but uh, I can see already most of the finan most of the um, major equities there are down slightly this morning as well. So moving on to the Japan 225. And uh, dollar yen has been dropping, so it has been a little bit of yen buying. Obviously, you had uh, Shinzo uh, Abe getting re elected um, quite convincingly as well, so there might be some new economic policies coming out across there. These candles, that, the candlestick provisions you can see here, are pretty negative as well. So, let's try to move into positive territory on Thursday and Friday, uh, only to fail to break 17,496, and we're down again today with another long length of candle because we were in positive territory, but got pushed into negative there again. So then looking at dollar yen, um, dollar yen unable to break through 119, it's obviously tried it, uh, to break and close above it, sorry, it's tried to do the last couple of sessions there, failed to do so. Uh, 117.36 is probably the next potential support and people are buying up yen uh, and a little bit of gold uh, as a safe haven hedge against this uh, market uncertainty but it's not been a, a convincing rally in those markets to be completely honest. So moving on to West Texas crude. The big thing about this is that they're already um, coming out with uh, layoffs and job losses in a lot of the US uh, energy states like uh, Texas, Alaska and many others. Yeah, so you're, you're talking about hundreds if not thousands of people losing their jobs, uh, rigs, uh, turning down their operations as a lot of the oil companies now are beginning to uh, kind of battle down the hatches for a longer term protracted um, low oil price and you know people are seem to be unwilling to pick any particular floor on crude oil right now but certainly you've got 50 54 85 as one potential support you've got 35 as a much much further potential support uh, with many commentators thinking that psychological 50 dollars a barrel will be uh, the next potential level if 54 85 gets broken now we've had a one percent jump this morning uh, already uh, which should be quite good for, uh, for crude in the short term um, but again, we're already off the highs. It's already feeling the pressure. We did already touch fifty-six dollars um, at one point so far this morning. So uh, it does give you a bit of an idea uh, the pressure that's on there. And the reason why the UK one hundred is getting so badly hurt is because of all of our uh, resource and energy stocks that make up our our index. So we're particularly exposed in the UK to um, this. Um, downwards pressure on crude oil prices. So then looking at gold, uh, gold is uh, coming off uh, again, uh, coming up to 1218, a break and close below that would open up a move towards the next 55 period SMA, uh, looking at 80, uh, 1186 after that. Uh, we've not had a close below 1218 though, um, and the dollar is, I guess it's slowly beginning to ramp up against uh, GBP and against the Euro. Um, it's not doing quite so well against the uh, dollar yen, it's a little bit more sideways, so perhaps the dollar strength actually begin to eat into that safe haven status as well. So these long like, candles right there are indicative that there is buying interest around about 12.18. Um, we'll have to see how that finishes up later on today. So finishing up with uh, Euro dollar, not much to report right here. We're in the middle of two ranges. One spot 25.79 is potential resistance, one spot 23.67 potential support. Um, 
So yeah, it's a bit of a weird candle there actually to have a positive move and then a gap higher and then a, a sell off. It looks like we're jumping around that 21 period SMA right there. Um, maybe drift can be expected a little bit on, on the dollar today. Um, then looking at uh, GBP, USD, a potential resistance one spot 57.43. Uh, we've not been able to break above that yet, um, but any break and close above that could open up one spot 59 or 09. Obviously, that's not yet happened, um, but we've been trying the last three sessions to break through it without that much success. Now, we are off the session lows today, um, so I'm guessing that the actual US dollar has not really advanced that strongly um, versus the other majors, especially when you've got this absence of major economic data. So today, there's not much. Tomorrow, you've got a Chinese PMI and you've got a lot of UK data if you're trading cable and you've got the ZEW business report. Make sure you've got all your alerts set for that. And then if you fast forward on to Wednesday, more UK data. And then we've got CPI in the US and followed up by the FOMC um, statement yes, yes. Uh, at seven o'clock. Yeah, yeah, now this is a, a pretty important session specifically because it should give extra insight as to how US interest rates are going to go. So yeah. anybody who's trading uh, USD uh, related FX pairs, this is a pretty major announcement uh, that, that's going to come out. Now obviously yeah. the, the, the rate is going to be, you know, it's going to remain the same, um, but it's all about the statement that comes afterwards. So keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Lots of updates from our global analyst team. Make insights part of the layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.